Hey everybody, this is Greg with You're the Dad Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the drone for shooting in Craftopia. Uh, as you can see here right now, I am operating the drone and I'm uh, viewing myself while I'm flying the drone. So this, uh, this drone doesn't really do a whole lot, but I just kind of wanted to show you a few things. Um, you can see I can kind of move it around just like you would if you're controlling a real drone in life. You know, zoom in, zoom out. You can make it go up and down. Um, there's kind of, uh, you know, you can kind of switch it where, uh, you know, now I can move my character around and kind of pivot the drone too. So it's kind of weird, the movements here, but, uh, you know, you might be able to get some decent pictures, you know, when you're, you're using the drone, if you want to try to use it for that. Although you'll always have the controller in your hand when you take the pictures of your own character. But, uh, yeah, there, I don't know what else you can do with this drone. Um, there could be, let's see what we can do here with this thing. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, I guess you could zoom up on enemies and not really trigger them. So, like, you know, this exploding, nothing to lose cow would typically run at you and explode. So I can kind of zoom in and check out this nothing to lose cow and get a really good close up of it and see what it's doing. Uh, you really can't even see its name though with the drone. So, you know, if you're wanting to inspect an enemy to see if it's the right type of enemy you need, it wouldn't help you much there. And, you know, I can zoom over here and kind of look at this dungeon. Um, you know, that, like I said, I, I think the best things, it, 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 what, since it's called the drone for shooting, you could take good pictures with this. You can kind of zoom out and zoom in. And uh, you could also probably get up really high and find things. Like you can see all my supply pods that have dropped on the island. It's real easy to see where they're at. So I could go fly, you know, go over to them and get to them real quick. Or here, you know, there's um, they're not showing up yet. I know it's here somewhere. And there it is. It's hard to see it, but uh, yeah, you can see the shadow, the fish shadows where I can cast my fishing net. So yeah, they're, uh, you know, there's kind of flying around the drone. You just kind of switch back and forth and uh, move around and see, you know, what you can do with it. But I wanted to show you, yeah, you can go, you can try to go underwater. I guess you're not going to do much underwater filming. Uh, just kind of trying to look to see if you can see anything underwater. Really, there's not much there. You can see the shadows of the fish and the shadows and, uh, you know, what looks to be underwater. Just kind of fly back up here and kind of do a flyby. Just change your angles. You know, like I said, descend, descend. Kind of mix it around. So here's something that you can do with it. Um, if you've ever seen these chests on these islands, on the desert islands, you can use your drone to open these chests. Uh, if you ever get close to them, you just get thrown around. I'll show you that in a second. But if you get up close, you switch out real quick, and then you hit the button and it opens the chest. And you see I got the enchantment points, and there was uh, something that fell out here. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like some seeds fell out of that chest. Um, and you can see, you can't even get close to this twister. It just sucks you in, and there's no hardly any way to get that chest. So, you know, even this time, I'm, I'm getting sucked in and thrown around. And uh, But I'm trying to get over to see what that was that actually flew out of that chest. And, oh, look, it's peach seed, so that's that was a good drop. Um, yeah, so you can do that. Um, you know, use the drone, you equip it. And, uh, you know, here we'll go back and, and kind of look and... You can kind of access things at a distance, but I don't really know what good that will do you. Um, here I'll access the seed extractor by getting close to it and exiting out. And you can kind of see I'd, I could access it, but I wasn't really right next to it. So that was kind of strange, but um, I'm not really sure what use for that. I've heard rumors that you can attach things to the drone, but I have yet to figure that out. So if you figure out how to attach things, um, you let me know and uh, maybe I'll try to do a video 
on how to attach things to it. But really for right now, it, it pretty much is what it states. It's a drone for shooting, for shooting pictures. Now, if you want to take some cool pictures, some high up pictures of things, or, you know, get some close ups, you know, of a supply pod or, or maybe an enemy or something, you know, you could do that. Maybe if you like sharing your pictures, um, you can do that. So yeah. So let me know. Um, let me know what you think. If, uh, if you've ever used the drone, if you've taken some pictures with it, uh, I tried to take a couple of good pictures. I actually going to take a, probably a couple of the thumbnail pictures with them and I'll, I'll, uh, you'll probably notice that maybe sometimes you'll see the little black circle around it. Well, that's all I've got today. Um, that's the drones for shooting. And I just want to thank you again for watching.